What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to show you an amazing tool that can be used to analyze keywords within a niche and discover content gaps. We're going to go through a process that will show the current information supply around a niche and what's available online. We're going to look at current information demand, showing what searches are frequent and what the responses are. And then we can look at the supply demand in balance and see if we can identify gaps within that niche that are underserved, that are going to give us keywords, key phrases that we can go after to rank on Google. So first thing we want to do using this tool called InfraNotice is we just go up to the menu here and we click on apps and import. Now to build the example that was just on the screen here, all we have to do is go down to market research and you're going to find a whole bunch of different sort of apps within the app. The one we're going to be looking at is this one here, demand supply. So this is about what people search for, but they don't yet find. Now I'm going to run this for search engine optimization. So what this does, it's going to compare, as it says here, it's going to compare the informational supply and that is search results for your query on Google to the informational demand, which is what people are actually searching for. And then we can find what's missing. Alrighty. So all that search query data has now been loaded in and the system has mapped all of the nodes and the keyword clusters and how they interrelate. But before we dive into this, let's take a look at the menu over on the on the right hand side here. This can tell us what the main topics of, of search engine optimization are. And it's probably not going to be earth shattering, but you can see here that 47% includes SEO, page and guide, and then 17%, 12%, and then 9%. So you get the idea of what these high frequency keywords are within in this niche instantly. And if you want the full list, you can actually just download all of these keywords. The other thing you can do here just to alter it a bit and just dive in a little bit deeper into the niche. If we click on like SEO, we can actually hide it, which will allow us to, to drop down to a lower level. And you can see this diversity here. When we, when we drill down a little bit lower within our niche or a little bit deeper, uh, it, it improves this diversity. And what we want here is either yellow or, or green. The red is sort of a little bit too, too high level. So this is, this is okay. And you'll see here now, now these have, have changed based on what we're looking at. The next area and, and probably the important part for this video and probably why you're watching it is the niche insight so that we can discover more about the niche and the underserved keywords, maybe topics within the niche. So if we click on niche insights, we can see a couple of headings here. So we've got the demand supply, we have recommended content and also content that could be improved by linking different terms within the niche. So if we go over to the menu here, we can take a look at what the, the current supply current information supply is. So this is the content that's appearing in Google right now. And you can see that a lot of the articles that are referenced over here, they're, they do vary from the last couple of years, but I have seen ones today that are you know, only from sort of eight weeks ago. So this is real data that's coming from the, the real search results. And if I click on say page, it will show the top results that include the word page. And you can see up the top here, we've got this, this tag here. Now, if I click on another node, say title, again, it'll start filtering the results. Now I could go a little bit random here and have URL, and then we're down to just, just the one. So I can clear all of that and get us back to where we were. So this is the, the mapping of the, keywords visualized for, for current search results that are coming up. Now, if we go back up to the menu again, we can have a look at what the, the current informational demand is. So this is searches that people are uh, frequently entering into the system. This is what they're actually searching for. Now you can see this, this map is much smaller than, than, than the queries. 
we can have a look on, say, technique. And we can see the kind of queries that, that this key term is being used in search engine optimization techniques. If we click on, we unclick this one, we click on tool. Again, we can see where, where this keyword is appearing in, in search queries. So that is the current informational demand. Now, the one that's really interesting is, I'll just get rid of that, go up here, this niche insights demand. Now, this gets quite small. However, it does tell us quite a bit. You see the word PDF is coming up here. If we click on it, you can see that we have this, what is SEO and how it works PDF. So there are searches for PDF documents that are underserved. So it's, it's something that's coming up quite a bit and there is no content that is maybe meeting the searches searches intent and what what the tool here is going to tell us is that there is a a demand supply differential for the search engine optimization and then using the word pdf in it and so that is something that we can you know take away and an action from from this tool. The other one is that the content ideas here. So include including the words you know, technique, tool, and free and improve. If we could come up with a content or a blog article or a piece of content that that included this, this does have a very good chance of of ranking based on the analysis that the tool's done. So the other interesting tool that's available within InfraNotice is this ability to identify keywords that are within different clusters and link them together to come up with content that is currently being underserved. So optimize content and learn, combining it with online user and involve. This is suggesting if we can come up with some sort of blog article that contains this, you know, that's probably something that is underserved. We can just click this and we get another gap and you can just keep Clicking between these. So I think it's just a really interesting tool and it does take a different a bit of a view from other keyword type tools. It's got a 14 day free trial. I'm not associated with the tool at all. I just came across it recently and have been playing around with it, but it's it's quite interesting. I think as a there's something in this to be able to discover new words, new linkages and new areas within your niche that are not discovered and to be able to throw something extra in, into the mix. Anyway, I will leave a link to, to the product in the description if you want to take a look at it. I hope you got a bit of value from this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.